Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Insight Terminus. It's a 100k run. I'm doing it on the Hunter, Night Stalker. I'm using Perfect Paradox, my primary. Skyburner Oath is my energy. Hammerhead is my heavy. Obviously, I've got Orpheus Rigs on. Uh, my gauntlets have got machine gun scavenger helmets got machine gun reserves and my cloak has heavy ammo finder and we're running with a 3.9 3.9 score multiplier 165 power handicap to achieve that with void singe heavyweight match game and momentum so this one was a royal pain in the backside. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Since the Five of Swords has changed, so have the the amount of scores you can put on and the modifiers. Now, I, I understand why that's been done. As people rocking out four or five hundred thousand solos, you should never be able to do that. But now it's actually pretty difficult to get the 100k. This one took me quite a few runs to work out the right weapons, and eventually I went with the Skyburner's Oath. See, this one has quite a few burns in it, uh, elemental shields. So when you come in here, you basically, the Harpies are arc, and I, I was, because of the way that I think I was thinking, I had to take everything. So we're going to skip the arc shields. I'm going to take this guy here and then get, give it a little dodge reload, we want we want the ads to lose us. We want we don't want them even though with momentum on we they wouldn't kill us. We want them to lose us so that we're not taking all that damage here. And then my uh my hammerhead has rampage. So once I get the first kill, it's on. The reason I went with Skyburner's Oath is because the two kind of heavyweights in the center center of this strike are solar shielded and with match game we need to match their shield and the cabal so i decided to test this and it actually worked out pretty good for for quite a few things so for anybody that watched my last nightfall video i spoke about putting the crucible video up for um lunas and stuff and then all that rubbish <laughs> anybody believed it I can understand why people would, would believe it, but the rubbish that came up about D3 not having Crucible in it, all that came up and it, it changed my perspective of the video, what the video should be. So expect that video out this week. I haven't, it is going to come out, but it's going to address not only why Crucible is going to be in D3, but uh, in what guys maybe it should come back in. You know, the some some of the the reasoning behind why people thought that thought that it wasn't going to be in d3 so all i'm doing here in this part of the 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 strike is i'm trying to build super so we need to have our tether before we get to the first plate so what i done there was just kill cabal i completely ignored the the arc shielded cabal because we don't have arc and he has the last arc shield we're going to have to deal with. From here on in, it's two solar and the rest are void. So we need more tether for here. Because this becomes a... Yeah, you can you can burn all your heavy ammo here if you've not got tether. Or, or some sort of... Uh, I would think a warlock with Skull of Dire Amkara would do okay here. If you allowed the adds to come out of the, the shield first. As you can see, they stay in there. Sometimes a, sometimes a war dog will get caught. You, I think you can see one on the right-hand side behind the shield. If if that happens in the first wave, you don't get a second wave of ads. So your score will be slightly lower coming out of that section. This, this section here, uh, it probably took me the longest to work out not how to do it. I knew how to do it. I knew where the ads were. I knew what I needed to do. But it probably took me the longest to work into the strategy. How fast did I have to get through it? And I will tell you now, you really want to be coming out of this area with about 10 minutes still on the, 10 minutes on the clock. Because it's going to take you about close to 10 minutes to do the boss. So... I just push these two. The snipers, even though it's Void Singe, even though we've got Void Singe on, the snipers, if they're, they're in bunches. 
I completely ignore the wanted because he's a bullet sponge and we don't we don't really want to be burning all what ammo on one ad. But as you can see, I'm using this side as my point of attack. So once I'm put a little bit on him, because we want him to go. I come over here, I don't go all the way up to the back, just over to here, and that will start the next phase. And for where this wanted guy is going to go, we're perfect here. So as you can see, I'm just watching to see where he is so I can keep some sort of cover between me and him. And then I'm going to put a grenade, and then just sky burn us oath. Hopefully kill everything. I missed one ad, but it's all good because he decided to stand there. He wanted to get shotgunned. And this is what the shotgun's for. The shotgun's for anything that I went with. I went with a pulse. I went with a hand cannon. But the shotgun, because of the proximity of the ads, uh, the shotgun kind of gave me that peace of mind. Now, Perfect Paradox, a year one weapon. So if you've ever had it, uh, if you've ever had it, you can just get it back. Also, another thing I would suggest is take these snipers because they're always, as I said, they're always in pairs, they're always in twos. If you leave two up and they double snipe you, it's over. It's it's really a lot of damage that they do. As you can see, I'm, I'm wary of them. I'm trying to see where the other one is. I've just noticed out the corner of my eye now that he's there. So, you know, I'm aiming for him. He's, he's gone back into hiding. But it's time. We, we, we're also time. We're also time gates. So what we're going to do is put put that smoke down on him. Use the sky burner to take to take his his shield down. And then as you can see, I'm dodging left left and right. You can see there the sniper trying to get a bead on me. Uh, and I've decided I'm going to go and take the sniper first. Now we're at about halfway score wise. Now the reason why the scores the score is always so important keeping an eye on it, especially with the insight terminus is you need to be, to guarantee you've got the 100k, you need to be at least 5,000 above the 100k when you finish a strike because the strike doesn't stop immediately. You'll you'll be listening to, and it, it is a problem. It's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, there's a few strikes in the game that have an issue, uh, or maybe I've got an issue with their issues. Once you finish the strike and you're hearing the dialogue and you're running about, you're still losing score. So you need to make sure you're about 5,000 above. But it also lets you know, are, are you online for the 100k? Are you going to be safe with this? So we're seven minutes in. Uh, same thing here. Sky burner. I think I actually re resort to the shotgun with this. With this. Uh... Just, just because the sky bonus is good, it's not that it doesn't work. It definitely does. And switching between sky burner and shotgun uh, definitely will help you get more heavy ammo. Yep, I had to get... I told you, I'm never going to stop saying it. Make sure you're switching between weapons to ensure that you've got the, 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 the ammunition for these things that you need to, to get past it quickly, which is heavy. So now we've made sure that nearly all the ads are down, we're going to tether the three main ads at the back. As soon as we tether them, sky burner, and then we're going to put the smoke down, and then we're going to go for them. Now, because I've got Rampage, you'll see when we get to the boss, I try and take it, try and proc Rampage 3 uh, times 3 before I attack the boss. Quite simply because they nerfed the damage that, that heavy machine guns do. I'm just taking a couple more of these before I get swamped. And the minute I see behind me, the minute I see that there's too many ads, I'm gonna take take the orb and I'm gonna go. Now you want when you're when you're going, I'm just going for this heavy, and then we're going. Remember to use the orb's melee ability. So what we're gonna do here is the, the melee ability pushes you forward. We're gonna dodge go invisible, grab the melee, grab the orb straight away. Put it in and then we're going to go over to the other side and we're just going to kind of hold off until we get our super. Make sure I'm reloaded, check my ammunition for everything and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it and we can tether all these ads. It's, it's just a bit more score. 
we're not going to take too much heat because we put the grenade down straight away and as you can see we almost got our super back there's no ammunition there for me there's no ads really i got hit pretty hard that that's a lesson that once you've cleared that area just go and we're at 920 which i'll tell you right now in the in, in the in the interest of transparency that's about a minute faster than my fastest previous time on to do this and the reason i've done it quicker was the sky burners off the sky burners off for taking down the shields was just there was very little kind of uh very little accuracy or anything needed you just point name point and fire you get these ads here if you need heavy ammo i found this is to be a very good uh source of getting your last couple of bits of heavy but we were we were good here normally i get at least a brick from just like two of them i think there's one before you get there's one after before you get to the first plate uh, uh there's like six or seven of those you've got to kill they, they both give you at least a brick of heavy ammo should you need it now this is where the difficult part comes the boss so let these ads come out make sure they're out first tether roughly where i have on the first plate and then use the sky burners it obviously does more damage against against uh cabal but this is why we've got the shotgun just in case so make sure when you when you're on the plate and you're in these as you can see i'm going to run around the plate and get my health back make sure you're reloaded you do not want to attack if you're not reloaded so we're going to smoke the boss grenade and then see the boss has got a really big heavy attack which which he will if he if he throws that attack at you he will throw it on top of you but if you're constantly staggering him with the machine gun he won't throw his attack at you now as you can see i probably could have stayed there and fired at him a bit longer but from experience with all those ads coming out no you don't want to be there so i'm just looking we've got a brick of heavy no i've got rampage times three i want to keep that rampage going until the boss comes out and then as soon as the boss comes out put it on him that rampage times three coupled with you know coupled with uh, the boss spec i've got on it it almost puts it back to what it was before it got got nerfed i hate the fact that they've done that i hate the fact they should have just done it with they shouldn't have done it for machine guns they should have done it for uh they should have done it for the the thunderlord the thunderlord was just too overused here we go again we're going to prop where where rampage times three and then go straight after the boss and the boss is gone so don't just throw down your tether straight away. Same thing again. We're on the same plate. Except this time, I know I'm going to get pushed. So we'll put a grenade and we're just going to shorty. Get the reload. Where did he go? There he is. Now, it's, um, it was unfortunate that I never got my super back that time because I could have tethered again. But, uh... It is what it is. We managed to activate that plate. Be careful about running back to where the ads are. My suggestion is go around the edges. Only go through the center like this to get ammo if you're invisible. Now, we can't go on, we can't really do anything plate wise until we've got our super. That is basically what we're waiting for even though we're on the plate we know we're not going to be able to stay here we need the tether so the other thing about going invisible the ads lose sight of you and that's what you want now i noticed that when i fired my tether this time the ads avoided it you see what they're doing they ran away from it which wasn't great so i decided i was going to burn my heavy which score wise wasn't wasn't too bad a ploy. And once you've got once you've got rampage, you can see we actually managed to do that plate there with no tether. But now I'm gonna have to hold off on the last plate. So because I'm holding off, Skyburner's oath. Gonna try and take take a few of the ads. And that anybody doesn't really understand how this works. 
So the way the way that Skybunners works is if you ADS, if you aim down sights, if anybody wonders what I mean when I say ADS, it's aim down sights, an acronym. And you guys probably know that. I'm just saying for anybody that's like, what does ADS mean? If you you shouldn't really be asking that, but if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. So if you ADS, you fire slower, but it does more damage and it fires straighter. If you don't, if you hip fire, it tracks and it does explosive damage. Now, uh, the best thing I can say about it is it does more damage against Cabal. But because we had a burn, the burn kind of negated the damage, the extra damage. It didn't feel like it done a ton more damage because I had void void syndrome. And vo I find that when you've got a burn on, it kind of reduces the damage that, that uh, your other weapons that don't have that burn do. So, but it was still really good. So what we're doing now is we're not expecting, again, we're not expecting to take this plate. I'm trying to draw ads out. We've st we can still score points and we we're going to need them. So dodge reload to go invisible. It just means they lose track of you and you can drag them about. So we're just trying to put a little bit of damage on a few of them. Nothing major. I'm not looking to kill. Not until I get my super. And the problem is... I can't really do too much because I don't have any heavy. And I thought this might affect the run. So we're just dragging them and we're going around this back area. There is a point here at the back where I, I felt I was pretty safe. It felt as if the ads wouldn't go past it. Maybe those uh, gladiators will, but the, the rest of the ads wouldn't push. So dodge reload. We've got my super. We've got some heavy. Go back over to the plate we need to capture and get the tether going and we'll put a grenade on them and those gladiators we are going to take them with what heavy as the incenders we're going to take them we've got our super back which is good and this is all good stuff and we're going to take the plate and now we're going to we see we've got heavy be careful about going near Cargan because his melee, his stomp, his avoid attack, it will one hit you. You won't survive it. So, as you can see, my staggering him, there's only him out at the moment. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to tether and we want to get that rampage going again. Rampage, you want to be at rampage times three when you're really going for him. As you can see, it's, that is so bad that their their attacks can stick to you. So I'm just look. I actually was looking to see how much Skyburners would do on him, and it, it done some, but it, it, it probably it it wasn't it wasn't worth investing time into. Cabal with the fireworks. I know I've got times three. I just want to keep it going until he comes out. And as you can see, it's not melt melt, but it's as close to melt as you're gonna get with a machine gun these days. So. If you've got, I say if, if you haven't, it probably renders this strategy, uh, it renders it pointless because you kind of need, use using this strategy, anybody that's watching this video that's like, I'm going to do it the way that live has done it, you need, you need the hammerhead with the rampage. I literally, uh, just for moving forward with this, I literally do. I, I won't keep many weapons that don't have rampage. I know kill clip is better in a crucible sense, but uh, I know I've, I've got the crucible pinnacle weapons this this time. Uh, solo queued, solo queued. <laughs> uh, but I I'm not really a pin I'm not really a crucible player, so kill clip means nothing to me. You know, it's five seconds extra damage when you when you reload rampage. Depending on depending on what you've actually got on, if you've got something where you can get, you know, an active reload, Rampage can be, you can keep Rampage going for ages. So what we're doing now, just to let you guys know, is we're, we're trying to generate our super and we're trying to generate some heavy. Because you can't shotgun him because he'll melee you and that's all she wrote. So 
we're going to put a little bit on them here. We've got nothing else left. Just put a bit of smoke on them just to try and deter him from chasing us. And, and as you can see, I'm trying to go round the map. Get a little tether on here. We've got a grenade. But what we've done there was we... It is match game. So for anybody that's wondering how I managed to do any damage with a shotgun to void shields, I didn't. I, I shot the thing that didn't have a shield. So that it sent void energy to the to the thing that had the shield. And there we go. We now have heavy. Which is what we needed. We're going to find Cargan. Get our rampage propped. And this is all he wrote. It's the rampage that does the extra damage. It almost makes him... Almost puts this weapon back to what it was before the nerf. So I've got a boss spec on it, Rampage times 3, and you can put a lot of damage on him with it. I hope this video's helped anybody that wants to do this. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will have that Crucible video out with the additional information in the next couple of days. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You know I always appreciate your support. Uh, I've linked my Twitter below, as I always do. You guys, anybody that's on my Twitter would have seen my constant updates about this nightfall. If you're interested in getting involved in a conversation, come and have a look at me on Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I always appreciate your viewership, and I'll see you in the next video.